Good day to all you people in internet land. Um, you might know that I'd buy stuff from, from China uh, every now and again just to see what it's kind of like and, and uh, review it. Anyway, so I decided I was going to have a little project uh, on the go. I was getting a little bit bored uh, with what I was doing, so I decided to have a little uh, project and a little hobby uh, to see if I can uh, do something different. So I decided I was going to buy a, uh, a couple of food carts, well, a food cart, and um, start my own little food shop up. Um, business-wise and so what I decided to do I looked around in Australia and uh, to see what kind of food carts were available and I saw almost a perfect one uh, a little uh, um, hot dog stand um, which you could buy uh, off the shelf I then had a look at uh, Alibaba because I'm registered on there and then found a company in China that had almost exactly the same product so and then I realized that the the company in uh, in in Queensland here was actually buying straight from there. So what I thought I'd do is I'd uh, then buy one, or I managed to get two from China purchased and shipped over here for less than the price of one in Australia. So I thought I'd give it a go and see what or how it came. Now bearing in mind, when I approach these people, I've asked for um, carts that are legal in Australia. All right? So they pass so I actually sent them as well, the, the standards, to make sure that um, they complied with them. Yes, 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 no worries, they said. So once again, so we've got issues with, um, so we've got to look at things like um, roadworthiness, and because they've got gas on them, that they have to pass uh, gas uh, cert. So I said, are these uh, um, fine in Australia? Will they pass Australian standards? And the answer, of course, is yes, no worries at all. It'll be fine. We go to there all the time, and all of our trailers pass. So fantastic, I thought, what I'll do is I'll ship them in there, uh, take them down, gas cert, and then roadworthy, boff, um, off we go. Um, <laughs> things aren't really uh, always quite uh, as they seem. So I bought these, uh, these two guys over, and I ordered two different ones. I ordered a small one and a bigger one, because I really didn't know where I was going to go with this. So what did they do? They sent me two small ones. So first of all, right off the bat, I've lost three or four... 100 US dollars. So, okay, fair enough, whatever. And uh, so I phoned them up, uh, or I emailed them, and they said, oh, really? But you've got two big ones. And I said, no, in fact, so I took a photograph, sent it back, and they were very apologetic, uh, but that was it, as far as it went. I then said to them, well, hey, listen, um, as far as it goes with legalities, um, what about the lights on it? And they said, you don't need lights for a hot dog trailer, which made me laugh because it's a, a trailer and it's going to be pulled by a car and it needs lights. I'll just show you something. This is how the trailer came. Look at that. Not one light, nothing at all on it. Zero. Okay. Nothing around the front. So there we are, number one, we're, we're stuck, we've got lights, uh, which need to be done. So they said, well, I'll send you lights. So I said, okay then, what about the umbrellas? Uh, yeah, you've paid for the umbrellas, but they're too big to send, so we won't send them. Oh, I thought, but I paid for them. And they said, oh, well, when you buy off us again, we'll give you a discount. And I thought to myself at that point, I'm not buying from you again. You know, we can't, we can't get the first order right. So they sent me some bits and pieces, the things that were, that were missing. Uh, Chinese lights with no instructions. Lights actually didn't conform uh, with the Australian standards once again. So I had to go and buy my own. Not only that, they didn't send, there was no wiring looms or anything with it. So I had to create, uh, on, this is on the second one as well, the first one, my own wiring looms. The state of the trailers themselves actually need a lot to be desired. Um, the build quality is poor at best, and I'm talking really, really poor. Childish welding, um, the manufacturing quality is just dreadful. And you certainly, if you built it yourself, you wouldn't put it out, you wouldn't let anyone see it. It was that bad. Um, I'll show you a couple of instances in a minute. But really, the, the trailers are they're very badly um, put together. And, um, and really, as far as standards go, they're to no standard 
at all. Um, perhaps um, an odd job man in a Chinese factory uh, on a few yen a day. But yeah, so look, even the point of the gas for these things, and I'll take you around in a minute, the gas is, is illegal. It's not just doesn't comply, it's absolutely illegal. So there's no conformity to all with any Australian standard whatsoever, even though you're given to believe at the time of purchase that there is. I was talking to a chap the other day about um, the trailers when I took this one in to get to the other one to get its, its, its gas, sir, and they've got to rerun all the gas because I've invested a bit into it, so I want to get it going. And he said the Australian trailer market is on its knees because of this rubbish that's coming into Australia from China. And that is such a shame because the build quality in Australia really is far, far superior to anything that you get overseas. Bearing in mind as well that if it's built in Australia by a registered gas man, you don't need a gas cert and all that kind of stuff, okay, because it comes with it. It's legal off the bat. They can't sell you a trailer that isn't legal, okay? Purely and simple, that's the case. It started to rain a little bit, so I'm just going to show you around this trailer. So here we are, quite simple. I'm just going to see if I can uh, maybe even turn this, turn this around. I'll just have to, uh, I'll have to work like this for a little bit. So if we take these off, there's a little cooler in here, okay, which you can't actually get out, so you'll never be able to clean it. Pointless. Here is the, uh, what can only be described as a, a gas burner straight from a barbecue. They've hacked it apart, and it's about as illegal as you can get. As I said, uh, when I've taken this in now for its, its, its gas cert, um, the quote come back at about 500 Australian dollars to get it uh, fixed. Boom. Straight away, so I've got two, so that's a, that's a grand. And if you have a look at, at things like build quality, you'll understand what I say about the fact that it is just absolutely dreadful and very, very poor. If we head just a little bit down to uh, the, the underneath side of things, which, which makes me laugh, um, you may see that the welding on it is... It's almost to the point of being... Um, dangerous okay the suspension is on back to front and it's probably too heavy for the trailer itself anyway there's a little interesting part I don't know if you can see it just up underneath here there's holes all through it incredible absolutely incredible and someone in their QA department has decided that all of this is totally acceptable right and sent it out so, well, yeah, QA department, <laughs> a little bit farcical that is, it's probably the tea lady. So, anyway, so we go back round the front, once again for the gas, the gas comes like this, absolutely zero instructions, you can't read them, I asked for them and I told it's summer and winter. Fantastic. Uh, the tap does work, um, only when you fix, <laughs> the, the only big words with, with the water in it, because there's a, there's a small little 12 volt water pump. There isn't one joint that isn't leaking in there, so be very careful. There's no regulator on the gas, so how it can, uh, it can apply again. This little ring here for the gas tank is also illegal, um, as the camp or the trailer people may realise that it's too big, you can't have it sloppy, and it slops around all over the place. Uh, have a quick look inside, and you'll notice that there's a little 12 volt pump, or pretty much all of the wires are uh, all exposed, I've, I've been looking into uh, fixing all these and I have to put conduit in there and, and chase them all out. But once again, it doesn't pass uh, standard. The uh, wonderful Chinese put these bolts into the suspension, uh, which means that uh, as it uh, goes down the road, this will chew through the uh, plastic bushes uh, in, the, uh, in the leaf springs and wreck it. So I've had to change all the bolts out as well. Really, in all honesty, it's hard to believe that someone has decided anywhere, even as bad as they are, that this is an acceptable level of manufacturing in any country whatsoever. But, of course, when you ship it across the seas, the person at the other end has zero backup, nothing. Because these people, honestly, don't care, okay? So, the, the wheels and tyres rated 80K, uh, probably not uh, what I need. The load rating, is all right and it comes with some exceptions i suppose because it's way less than 750 kilos uh, that we should um 
uh, we should be okay with the registration. This is, uh, this is the little thing there, UK Evan Limited China Branch, and it's from the spaoju.com, um, Chinese branch of someone who manufactures something uh, completely useless. Anyway, yeah, <laughs> you've got a giggle, haven't you? Really, it's probably gonna last uh, maybe, maybe uh, one week uh, of travel before the suspension falls off and then we just drag the rest of it down the road and then eventually take it to the scrap heap where unfortunately it's probably either come from or will be going to uh, in the not so distant future. So there's a lot of work that needs to be done to get these things right and in all honesty the, the money that you would spend and the time taken to do it all I just, I just wouldn't bother you know you see these things on eBay you see these things uh, all the time uh, through all of these um, uh, websites and things like that but unless you can touch it unless you can look at it unless you can kick the tires on it stay away thank you very much but another real interesting chat with you guys uh, leave any comments and let me know if you uh, want to send me something to review I'll do it quite happily and uh, and I'll kick it to pieces in front of you thank you very much goodbye <laughs>